Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Tilo. In this tutorial, we will create a patch for non regular shapes with the help of a background image in the Matrix 5 patch editor. As task, we have to create a patch for fixtures which are arranged in a circle and in a diamond. For the fixture in the circle, we will use generic RGB light 1 pixel. And for the fixtures in the diamond, we will use generic panel 5x5 pixels. All fixtures are DMX controlled and we are in the happy position to define the DMX addresses by our own. Respectively, let Matrix do this job. To place the fixtures better, we will use the image of this installation as background image in the patch editor. You can easily download the image for this task in the step-by-step -step instruction. The link you will find below. To save the image, simply perform a right click, add the image in the task and select save image. As always, when we want to create a new patch, we start with an empty one. If you don't know how to create an empty patch, please have a look to the tutorial creating a 2D patch for DMX output with the patch editor. Let us start to add the background image. Therefore, we navigate to view background image. On the right side, in the settings section, we can open the background image. We select the image for this project and click open. Now we can figure out the image is too big. So we scale it down. In this example, we know the fixtures of the diamond are 5x5 pixels. So let us try to scale it down to 25% but keep the aspect ratio. Apply. When we zoom in a bit, it is not fine enough. So let's try 22.5. Apply. This is good. But we want to change the position a little bit. Let's say in X minus 1 and in Y 0 0.3 and apply. That's fine. Now we can go back to the voxel map view via the toolbar. Let us start to create the patch for the left circle. Therefore, we open the add fixture window and add one of the generic RGB light one pixel. The position should also be one and one. And for DMX address assignment, it is very easy in this example because we can set the DMX addressing. So we click add. And we can close the add fixture window. Now we navigate to the left circle via zooming out a bit and moving the scroll bar to the left side. Let us drag and drop this fixture to a position where a fixture is placed in the reality. So we drag it by selecting and move it to a desired position. Now we create a copy of this fixture via press and hold down the control key, select and drag this fixture again via pressing the left mouse button down and move the mouse. This we will repeat for all fixtures we have to patch for this circle. Now we can see we have created all fixtures for this circle according to our background image. Now let us go ahead 
to add the fixtures for the diamond shape. Therefore, we navigate a little bit to the right side and open the add fixture window again. We change the product to 5x5 pixel panel, horizontal, the start position to 55 by 6 and we click add and close the add fixture window. Like at the circle we want to create this diamond shape via copying the fixtures. Therefore we select only the 5x5 pixel panel, press and hold down the control key and the left mouse button we press down and move the mouse to the desired position. Next one, this we have to repeat until this diamond is created of our fixtures. For the fixtures on the right circle, we will create a copy of the fixtures on the left circle. Therefore, we zoom a bit out via using the mouse wheel. Now, we create a bounding box around all the fixtures of the left circle. Therefore, we press the shift key down. Now, we press the left mouse key down and move the mouse around the left circle. Release the mouse first. In the next step, we select one of the fixtures, but before we select this fixture, we press the control key down. Now the left mouse button down and move this fixtures to the right circle. And we drop it at a desired position. Because of auto addressing in Matrix 5, all fixtures will get a new and unique DMX addressing. All fixtures for this patch are now added and we can disable the view of the background image. Therefore, we navigate again to view background image and we will disable this background image. When we go back to the voxel map view, we see only the fixtures we have add. All matrix effects are calculated on the set matrix size. In the matrix settings, we can define the wide, the high and the depth, but it will always be calculated from position 1 in X, 1 in Y and 1 in Z. So it is recommended not to waste space on the top left and front side. Matrix 5 is able to move the full patch to the matrix origin. Therefore, we go to edit move map area to matrix origin. And in the last step, we go to matrix settings and match voxel map area. Click OK and the voxel map area is changed. Now we can close the patch editor. At the end of this tutorial, we will create an effect on deck A and one on deck B. This time, we will use two static effects. On deck A, we will use the SCE color in green and on deck B, we will select the SCE gradient. Now, we change the shape to do the Square employed. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.